Hi guys, welcome to today's video, which is going to be my monthly haul for April. Uh, I bought a lot. I <laughs> can't believe how much I bought. So I'm going to get straight into it without further ado and show you all the lovely products that I've been collecting in April. I've been a very, very naughty girl. So I'll start with the biggest purchase that I've made, which is this, which I can't get into shop to show you. The Game of Thrones Vault by Urban Decay. I've done a video on the collection, so I'm not going to open that up and show you in this video. I'll link it up in the cards and you can see everything that's in the collection if you're interested to have a look at that. Um, but that was the main thing I bought. And just a little side note to that, I also bought the palette as well on its own because I couldn't get a hold of the vault to start with and I didn't want to miss out on the collection. I'm a massive Urban Decay Special Editions collector so I wanted to make sure I got it. Bought myself the palette on its own and then found out that I could find the vault on Selfridges website. So I bought that as well because I really really wanted the vault so I've now got the palette on the vault. So that kind of made things a bit more expensive than they might have been. Okay, the next thing I've got, which is also massive, are these. And I'm super excited about these. These are the Anastasia lipstick sets. They had a light, medium, and a medium dark neutral set. Uh, I'll just open it up so you can see the inside. So this one's the, the light neutral set of lips, liquid lipsticks. I'm just going to pull it back a bit so you can see. So some beautiful shades in there. When I showed this to my husband, he said they're all the same colour. And then like, <laughs> so there's lots of different shades in there. Really beautiful shades. So I'm wearing one today. I've got that one there on today, which is called Trouble. Uh, but I've only worn this one shade. I know I like the formula because I've got another set which had six of their lipsticks in that I wear on a regular basis. So really enjoy that and this one is the deep neutrals so the medium to deep neutrals and that's that one the reason i got these is because on black friday they were doing a deal for 62 pounds to get the bundle there's 10 lipsticks they're normally 20 pounds each so 200 pounds value uh, for 62 pounds so it would have been to get both sets, which I wanted to get both sets, it would have been £124 and then I couldn't manage to get them, they were super popular and they were snapped up in seconds really. And then I saw that they got 25% off the whole of the website and I thought they won't have this back in stock because it's already discounted and everyone will have bought them. And then when I went on, both sets were there, so decided to get them. So for £93, I've got £400 worth of lipsticks there. Uh, with every neutral shade you could possibly hope to want from Anastasia. So I'm going to do a video on those and swatch them all out so that you can see what they look like and all the different undertones of them. Um, but I'm so pleased to get it. I love the packaging as well. It's the same packaging as the Sultry palette. Uh, I do tend to keep all the packaging of everything that I've got, particularly if it's like special like that. So I don't know where to put them though. I mean, they are pretty sizable. So at the moment they're sat underneath my beauty table, but, but I've got those. Also in terms of lipsticks, I've got these as well. So I've got eight of these, which are by LA Splash. They're their classic horror lipsticks. Just show you one of their packagings rather than getting them all out and showing you um, but that's the the packaging there for that and then inside you've got the the packaging on it as well uh, it's got the horror theme to it so that one's the phantom there that one but they're all really interesting colors um, so if anyone's interested to see a video on those I can do it um, I like unusual kind of lipsticks, don't wear them very often out of the house but I do like them and I'm getting a bit more confident to, to wear your greys and greens and 
you know, unusual purple tones and things and I'm quite enjoying wearing them. And they go with, I've already got this and I bought this quite some time ago, but the LA Splash Classic Horror palette, which looks like that. And has a bunch of rainbow shades inside, but I really enjoy this palette. And when the palette came out, I didn't know whether to go for the lipsticks or not and whether I would like the formula. They were quite expensive, they were like 12 99 each, I think, for a lipstick brand that I, or a brand I don't know that much about. So I kept looking at them and I knew I wanted to get the whole set if I was to get them. I'm a bit of a completionist when it comes to collections. And then Beauty Bay had a sale over the Easter weekend and some of them were 7 99 and some were £6. So got the whole set, all eight of those. And then the last lipstick item I got was another Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint. So this one. I uh, got the shade Uncuffed this time. Uh, I bought Uncensored the month before and I love the formula so much. It just goes on so nicely. It's a thin formula um, to apply and it doesn't get sort of bunched up if you put too much on or whatever. You can put a couple of layers on if you want to, but you really don't need to because it's quite opaque. And that colour in particular, the Uncuffed shade, I wore it all day and I barely needed to touch it up, which is really impressive for a liquid lipstick for me. So I really like the formula of those. And also from Fenty, I bought the Water Brat Highlighter, which is this one. And oh, it's super pretty, so gorgeous. I'd had that on my wish list for a little while and I was on holiday, went into a Sephora, don't have Sephora, in the UK so once I was let loose in Sephora I was like whoa let's have a look and see what what things I can get that are not easy for me to get because if I buy Fenty here I have to mail order it from Harvey Nichols that's probably the only place in the UK that you can get it from but to actually be able to go in store and swap everything out and whatever was great so picked that up also got this which is really reflective packaging but the same shape as the other one but it's one of their new bronzers and this one's the shade shady beers it looks quite dark in the pan um not tried it yet on my face i've swatched it a little bit and i think if i shear it out and go with a light hand then i should be able to get away with it but that was the lightest one that they had so but i think once i've got a bit of color in the summer that one will be nice and then I've also got some more eyeshadow palettes. It was eyeshadow palette month for me. I've wanted to get the Menagerie Cosmetics Feral Palette for the longest time, ever since it first came out. It's just so beautiful. And I've not even touched this yet, swatched it out. I've tried to resist because I've not photographed it yet. I haven't had time, so. So here's that one. Oh, there's some beautiful shades in here. So I'm so excited to play with that, I just haven't had time because I was on holiday, I went on a, a cruise and while I was away on the holiday I, a lot of these things had arrived and I knew they were there but I couldn't see them or do anything with them so I was super excited to get back to actually see them. But I also got the Dragon Child palette which is this one which was their first palette um, which came out when they were Makeup Monsters so it's still got the old style of packaging i think they are discontinuing this but rebranding as menagerie cosmetics for this palette i've done a couple of looks with this one um, and put them on my instagram i've done one with the, the red shade there flamethrower um and that shade mother dragon uh, and just put some gold in my inner corners and i've done one with the purple shade and the blue shade so those two and the shade lucky on my lids as well and um, i can't believe how different those two looks came out it's a stunning mix of colors there's a lot of mattes in there which i really enjoy colorful mattes so and i think those two will pair really well together as well both of those palettes to use together so then I bought the Certify Affinity 2 palette, which is this one. I had this one pre-ordered, so it just happened to turn up in the month of April, but I'd already pre-ordered that, I think in February maybe. And that's the palette and the colours inside that one. I've done a video 
have my first impressions and a sort of mini tutorial using some of the green shades um, and the duo chrome shade at the bottom here and that's up on my channel already so I'll link that in the cards for you as well if you want to check that out and then last but not least super excited to get this which is the neon dreams palette from blush tribe and again i've had no chance to play with it i picked it up on saturday from the post office um they've had it waiting for me since i got back from holidays so and time to pick it up um but that's the gorgeous shades inside that one and i haven't played with it yet because i tend to do a lot of my looks in the morning before work and I rock some pretty extreme makeup looks to work because I hide them behind my glasses but bright neons in an office I'm just not quite sure I could pull that off so I'm waiting till Saturday and I've got plenty of time to play with it I definitely want to uh, create some looks with that and, and do a bit of a first impressions of it so I've not swatched it I've done nothing with it at all so I'm excited to play with it I just need some time to do that really so that's what I've got, I've been a very bad girl, it's probably one of the biggest hauls I've ever bought in one month but in my defence there's been a lot of either good bargains coming out or pre-orders that I've ordered and paid for quite some time ago have come through and for the Menagerie Cosmetics um, items I've wanted those palettes for the longest time and I just weakened, I saw a lot of people's three looks one palettes and I just decided oh, I've just got to get it. Not that I need to defend myself because I work hard for the money that I've got and I buy all of this with my own cash but um, but yeah that wraps it up for today, that's all of the items I've got and um, if you want to see um, looks with any of the things that I've got or reviews on any of them I'd love to know what you want to see I've kind of got an idea what I'd like to film but if you've got any requests comment down below let me know and if you want to become part of my little corner of the internet then please subscribe but other than that I'll catch you in the next one guys bye